Hello friends, this video statistics part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched statistics part 1 to part 7. So for discrete frequency distribution, we have data of this format where you have data of this form x1, x2, x3, x4 and everything has a frequency f1, f2, f3, f4. I'll give example. In real life, for example, we are talking about the marks obtained by students in the class. Let's suppose they are 20 students and they obtain out of 20, I am saying out of 20, two guys obtained 0 and two guys, three guys obtained 2, fives are obtained by two guys, six by two guys or six by let's suppose four guys, seven by one guy. 8 by again 4 guys. How many guys? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 and 4, 16. 9 by 1 guy, 10 by 1 guy, 11 by 2 guy. Let's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 4, 11, 12, 12, 16, 20. 20, they are 20 students and they got this many marks. The question was tough, so the maximum marks is 11. So the same data we can write in this form. I'll say marks and I'll say frequency. This is all marks here actually. And this is frequency. Same data I can write in this form. 0 is obtained by 2 people, 2 is obtained by 3 people, 5 by 2 people, 6 by 4 people, 7 by 1 people, 8 again by 4 people, 9 by 1. 10 by 1 and 11 by 2. So if you see the same data is now written in this form where you have these values and the frequency. That means 2 people have got 0, 3 people have got 2, 2 people have got 5, 4 guys got 6, 2 or this is 1 actually, 1 person has got 7, 8 is got, got by 4 guys. 1 got 9, 1 got 10 and 11 got 2. And if you add these two values also, 2 plus 3, 5 plus 2, 7 plus 4, 11, 12, 12 plus 4, 16, 17, 18 plus 2, 20. So if you add the frequency sum, what you get is the number of students, right? That is how we write. Any data actually we can write in this form, discrete frequency form, where you have the data and the frequency. It is 0 marks obtained by 2 people, 2 obtained by 3 people. Here these are x1, x2, x3, x4 and the frequency is f1, f2, f3, f4. Correct? So in discrete frequency what we do? We have the distinct values x1, x2, x3 and also with the occurring frequencies f1, f2, f3. For example in this case the discrete values are 0, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and the frequency is 2, 3, 4, 1, 4, 1, 1, 2. Correct? Now, for discrete frequency distribution, the mean deviation of what mean we have this formula. This is the formula. Don't get confused with the formula. It is little easy actually. The mean, first we'll find the median because we are talking about mean, sorry. We'll first find the mean. The mean is denoted by x dash. This is the symbol for mean. So, x dash is mean. So x dash, first you have to find x dash, x dash is nothing but you find the sum of product of xi into fi. You find the sum, that is the total value and you take the mean. To take the mean you have to divide by the total number of data and that is 1 by n and here n is nothing but sigma fi. I think I should take one example to make things clear. I will take the same example, the last example I took. Let's take this example where the number of marks obtained by students in the classes are right once again. This is the marks. So the marks let's suppose is 0, 0, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. I'll take 4 also. 4, 4. And one guy got 5. Out of 5, let's go. Out of 5, these are the marks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 people. Correct? 
n is equal to 2. The same thing if you write in the frequency distribution, what you get is max frequency 0 is 2, 2 is 3, 3 is 4 times, 4 is 2 times and 5 is 1 times. Correct? If you add this value also 3 plus 2 5, 5 plus 4 9, 9 to 11 plus 1 12. This is 12. This is correct. Now if you see for this data you have to find mean what you will do? You will add all these values and divide by numbers. So what you will do here I will show you. If, for example you forget this part now. You forget this part. You think only about this part which we have learned till now. For this if you want to find the mean what you will do? You will say 0 plus 0 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 by divide by how much? 12 because number of students is 12. The same thing I can write in this 0 plus 0 2 times I can write 0 into 2 plus 2 3 times I can write 2 into 3 plus 3 4 times I write 3 into 4 plus 4 2 times I can write 4 into 2 5 1 time I can write 5 into 1 divide by 12 correct now if you see now you forget this part you come to this part in this part if you see 0 into 2 is this 0 into 2 2 into 3 is this 3 into 4 is this 4 into 2 is this and 5 into 2 is this so this is nothing but summation of fi xi correct because this is f this is xi and this is fi so summation of fi xi is nothing but this part divide by 12 what is 12 you add these values 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 2 11 plus 12 this is nothing but summation of fi summation of fi so what we have seen that median is nothing but sigma of or summation of fi xi by summation of fi and that is what i am trying to prove summation is nothing but summation of fi xi by summation of fi and summation of fi is nothing but n so i made this n here and summation of fi xi is like this so the first part is clear that if you have to find the mean then you will use summation of fi xi by summation of fi why summation of fi xi we have proved this we have got this data we have converted this into the discrete frequency form and we have seen that the mean is nothing but summation of fi xi that is you multiply these values and you add and that is divided by some of the frequencies that is the mean. Logically also it makes sense because you have if you are saying that the number 2 is 3 times that means you have to add 2 3 times 2 plus 2 plus 2 or you can say 2 into 3. Similarly the number 3 is 4 times then you have to say 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 or you can say 3 into 4. 3 into 4 is nothing but x a fi. So this point is clear that mean of the value is nothing but summation of fi xi by summation of fi now first we have the mean because our goal here is to find mean deviation about the mean so the first point i told is you have to first find the point about which you have to find the mean deviation correct in this case we are finding the mean deviation about mean so the first step was to find the mean deviation so we have the mean deviation or sorry we have the mean because we were supposed to find mean division about mean. So we got the mean. Mean is nothing but x dash that is sigma xi fi by sigma fi. Once we have got the mean, now we will find the deviation of all these points about mean. So deviation is nothing but if you see xi minus this mean mod, this is the deviation. So we will find deviations that we have got. Now once we have deviations, since the frequency is fi for all these values, we will multiply with fi. Similar concept. Because here also what we are doing is, we are finding mean. So to find mean, the way I have done sigma fi xi by fi, same thing I will do here. Instead of xi, here it is xi minus x mean. The rest everything is same. See the same formula is used here, but instead of xi i'll use xi minus mean mod and then i'll get mean deviation about mean 
very simple what we have done first thing mean deviation about mean first we will find the value of mean to find the value of mean we will use the formula sigma fi xi by sigma fi we have proved this formula how it comes once we have the mean then we will find the deviation about the mean deviation about the mean for any point will be xi minus x mean mod once we have the deviations then now we have to find the mean of all the deviations so again to find the mean we use the same formula here instead of xi what we will use xi minus x mean mod and then we will get the answer we will take some example here thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again